Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, where I review the latest and greatest motorcycles. Today, I have a very special bike for you, the Ducati Heavy Bike 2024 model. This is a brand new supermoto from Ducati, powered by a single cylinder engine that makes 78 horsepower and 46 pound feet of torque. It's light, agile and packed with electronics that make it fun and easy to ride. Let's take a closer look at this beast and see what it can do. The bike is built around a steel trellis frame that is light and rigid, and it features a 43mm upside down fork and a single shock at the rear, both adjustable for preload and rebound. The suspension offers a long travel of 6.7 inches at the front and 5.9 inches at the rear which makes the bike capable of handling any road condition. The seat height is 35.6 inches, which is quite tall, but the bike is narrow and easy to maneuver. The brakes are also top-notch, with a 320mm disc and a 4-piston Brembo caliper at the front, and a 245mm disc and a single-piston caliper at the rear. The bike also comes with cornering ABS which has four levels of intervention that can be adjusted according to the riding mode and the rider's preference. The heart of the Ducati Heavy Bike 2024 model is the Super Quadro Mono engine, which is basically one half of the 1299 Super Quadro V-Twin that powered the last Ducati Superbike. It has a bore and stroke of 116mm and 60.8mm, respectively and a compression ratio of 12.6 to 1. It uses a dysmodromic valve system, a wet slipper clutch, and a six-speed gearbox. The engine is very refined and smooth, and it delivers its power in a linear and progressive way. It has a peak power of 78 horsepower at 10,250 revolutions per minute, and a peak torque of 46 pound-feet at 7,500 revolutions per minute. It also has a high redline of 10,500 revolutions per minute which means you can rev it hard and enjoy the thrill. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Ducati Heavy Bike 2024 model. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more motorcycle reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.